Hello store owners, I hope you're doing great. In this week video, I want to show you how to create an order manually or uh, maybe you want to edit an order. Actually, you will notice that in Shopify and inside your orders, you don't have an option to edit it. Um, so that's why you need to take an order and recreate a new one if there was a mistake uh, if something uh, you had you don't have anymore or you want to apply a discount to it so let's take a look right away uh, what you have to do is go in your admin go in orders you can also have drafts because you can save an order but let's take a look how to create one so let's go ahead and create a new order first you'll need to find uh, you need to select products that you want to add to the order so uh, in this case let me just select whatever select this one add to order so you can add multiple um, multiple uh, products like this. You can modify your quantity. You can modify your quantity. Uh, you can add a custom item. Uh, so let's say custom color and ninety nine dollars. So now I have a standard product and a custom product that I added. Um, after that, what you can do is modify the price for each item. So you can add a discount right away on the product. So let's say I want to remove $10 on this uh, and why you can have a reason. So maybe it's, it's a friend. So let's apply this you can also add a note you can add a discount for the whole uh, order so let's say I want to remove 15% uh, from the whole uh, order that I have so you're gonna have your discount you can add shipping um, you can use you'll have your selection of the, the the shipping rates that you have so you can add you can put a custom one or select the ones that you already have let's just say that it's free your taxes uh, depending where your uh, customer is and after that you have to look for a customer so for the customer you can create a new customer or you can add an existing customer um, so let's just use this one so this is my customer I the, the, the taxes are calculated right away from uh, from where the person leaves and if the taxes applies you have now uh, two options so as I said before you can save it as a draft so now we saved it this is a draft order you have your standard orders and then you have your draft so this is my draft let me go back inside you now have two options you can email an invoice um, so if we do this it's gonna send it to the customer email uh, and it's gonna um, it's going to give them an option to pay for your order or um, you can also mark it as paid in case you uh, you physically sold it uh, or you 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 receive a check for it or whatever other method of payment you can mark it as paid you can mark it as pending or you can also uh, accept uh, or manually charge a credit card if you uh, you physically have it in front of you or maybe you take it out on on the phone so you have a bunch of options you can email the invoice let's just do a test so this is what it will look like 
you have a preview you will receive this and then you can complete your purchase and uh, you have the total with the discount and everything that that we did so you can send this so it did send by by email you can uh, or you can just proceed with with the payment you can add comments you can do whatever you want you can tag it uh, that's up to you so let's just review all of this first of all you need to select your products or add a custom product then you can play with the pricing you can play with the quantity you can add a discount per item or you can add a discount for uh, the whole order you can add a note you can select and add shipping same thing for taxes then you need to select a customer and um, or you select a customer or you uh, you can add a new customer and then you decide if you want to send the invoice or if you want to take uh, the payment with a credit card over the phone or physically in your hand so that's about it um, I hope this helped you a little bit to create uh, to create an order um, just give it a try you may need it if you want to apply a special discount for someone uh, because there was an error or whatever uh, in, in in the order that you received so there's me multiple there will be multiple reasons for you to do this um, so try it out before I let you go, uh, just forget to show you here that you can reserve items. So if you're tracking inventory and inventory is maybe low um, or you want just to put aside uh, a product or products, you can reserve those items. So uh, you can set a date. Uh, let's assume I want to keep it for two days. So Shopify is going to reserve uh, or just remove temporarily from the inventory one uh, quantity of this product um, and um, it's, it's, it's reserved for you um, as I told you before also don't forget you can select the previous customer or you can create a new customer by adding all uh, the information necessary and let me just show you really quick the email will look something like this so standard you can complete your purchase visit the store and here is the invoice so if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. You also have there my information, my email, Skype, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, everything is there. So don't be shy, ask me your questions. Also, um, please subscribe to the channel. I'm releasing videos like this one each week. So like that, you will be sure to not miss any of them. Also, uh, take a look, I have a how to class uh, for you to learn CSS and uh, learn how to design your uh, your store and uh, if you also need my help for a full website analyze please uh, let me know I offer this service that's it again for this week hope you enjoyed it and see you next week